Hey everyone, welcome back to the bench. Today we have a Mercedes gauge cluster for the W447, which is the Mercedes Metris van, also known as the Vito in the rest of the world. And the problem with this is that the backlight no longer works on this LCD screen, which Tells you your speed and your uh, odometer information, all that jazz. And it's a common issue with these. And it happens to be this dual pack transistor right here. That little six pin guy is the problem. Now, there's a company online, uh, the customer who sent me this gauge cluster to repair it, uh, bought this repair kit online, mini tools from Europe, and it was hundreds and hundreds of dollars, <laughs> and it comes with basically this device, but... I guess these people figured out what chip that was because there's no schematics for this thing. They include a five pack of replacement uh, ICs, an instruction manual here. And what you do with this device is it lets you bench test it to see if your repair worked. So I believe it, you hook a 12 volt power source here and then it injects 12 volts into the factory harness plug but it also at the same time just runs a bunch of random CAN bus script enable or it, so it'll display something on the screen so what we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you exactly what this chip is because they're about 36 cents on DigiKey so you can do this repair yourself and we're going to see if you actually need this or not. I'm going to uh, put power to it, figure out which pins here are 12 volts, and see if this thing will turn on just with the 12 volts enough for us to test that the backlight works. And then uh, see if we even need this or not. Now, if this is the part right here, it's 36 cents Canadian, so even cheaper for US. Uh, this is it. It's a dual NPN transistor pack. And there's a diagram right there of what it is. It's basically two NPN transistors in one package. So this is our chip right here. It looks like it's got a some burnage on it. So we'll pull that out. And I'm going to use some hot air on it to get it out. Not too much flux, just the right amount of flux. Okay. 
So unfortunately, this is the only clip I have after this. It kind of didn't record. Something went wrong. But you can imagine I picked the chip up with the tweezers, put it onto the pads, and held the hot air gun over it until it just fell into place magically. Uh, you've seen me do this before. It's not rocket science, but uh, at least out of this video, you can see just where it is, the location of the chip, where it needs to be, the position of it, uh, from me removing it. Just imagine the exact same thing in reverse at this point. Okay, so now I'm going to try this little jig out. Let's see if the repair worked. Center pin positive. Okay. Hey, hey, there we go. We've got backlight. We've got kilometers. And it just went full brightness. Okay. So that's cool. We know this works. Now what I would like to see is if we can, you guys, anyone, without this bench device, can do this yourself. So let's identify, which would be the outer pin. Okay, so this pin is our negative. So, negative we correspond to this pin here. So now, let's find out where 12 volts is. Oh. So that's our negative, which is not there. First one I tried, possibly. Okay. So there we go. It did give it power, but it's not doing anything else.
Well, I guess you do need this. There you have it. An easy fix. Unfortunately, it seems that you need this device here to do any testing on it, unless you just go back out to your car, plug it in real quick, which honestly isn't a big deal. Um, unless you decide you want to repair a bunch of these. Um... Let's see what the owner wants to do if he'll let me hold on to this for a while. I might reverse engineer it. Um, we can do some can port sniffing and see what it's doing. Or, um, yeah, I have a RS-485 and a CAN bus uh, communications pieces for Arduino, so uh, maybe we could build something, but... Again, if you're just doing this repair for yourself, obviously you just walk out to the car, plug it in, and there you go. It's going to work. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps some people out. We're going to post the part number for what those uh, dual MPNs are, and uh, hopefully it'll save some people frustration. We'll catch you next time.